Good afternoon, thank you for watching Randall Gaming. We're doing another video on the game of Final Factory. And um, it's basically just a continuation from the Monolith build that I've been running up to this point. And uh, this is at roughly 30 hours, or 31 hours. And um, as far as like the next progress that we've made so far on it, we uh, kind of expanded down to the Dyson Sphere. So kind of what we're, we've been in the process of doing is mapping out uh, more suns and then based on Dyson Sphere and all of them. So we have two down here that we're going to be working on next. And that's pretty much all the, the stars that I know of right now. So we'd have to expand a lot further out to find more of them. Because um, unfortunately, I don't think there's any way to actually Dyson Sphere a uh, red giant yet. Um, I think it's just for research purposes, from my understanding. Um, so pretty much, this has been the last several hours of just kind of scaling that up. And also having enough um, production of Dyson um, bots in order to maintain all three of them. So as you can see, there's pretty much a constant flow of the bot, you know, these uh, bots flying out here to replace the ones that uh, blew up prior to. Then, um, otherwise, so we built a whole bunch of shipyards, and we might expand this even further, but this is kind of to give us, um, sort of a place to kind of stock them up sometimes. Like, whenever we start up a new Dyson Sphere, um, there tends to be an issue where, um, everything gets to where we're short on them. Um, however, if we have this, it kind of gives us a little bit of a buffer as well. Because right now, I think we're producing enough to probably handle about five to six of these Dyson Spheres. Um, so as of right now, this is all overstocked. But I think once we expand to at least two more, uh, hopefully this should start to be used a little bit more. And then we'll kind of plan it accordingly if we need a bigger buffer or if we need much more production. And as of right now, this is kind of our um, this entire section down here is just basically Dyson Sphere uh, bot building. And uh, these down here are just for minor bots, so they can keep uh, all this stocked up. Because initially I was having some trouble with them flying down here. Uh, so I just made a, a localized one that kind of helps with it as well. But I think now they actually do fly from the, the north as well. Then we still haven't really filled out this locate in this area yet, um, but I did kind of want to space it out at least a little bit, so I kind of have more section to build here. This is still kind of our uh, our research location, so if we need to, uh, which at this point we've pretty much researched everything, so I mean it's not like that's a factor, but I would ahead and just let it continue, you know, going through and researching stuff. And then this northern section still does a lot of my uh, smaller production stuff. So, for example, if I need to get, uh, for example, this one's going to be uh, a lot more of the connectors because a lot of times I come up here and grab, you know, like a one to two thousand connectors, and then um, use those to gradually build stuff out. Um, there are a bunch of solar panels up here, but I don't think I'll need to use solar panels for quite a while because we're running about 100,000 power right now. We're only using about 30, um, mostly due to the Dyson spheres that are currently going on because I think my solar panels are only producing about 40,000. Um, yeah, this entire section, it's mostly just for smaller uh, things. So sometimes I come up here just to pull like connectors, um, the uh, struts and a couple other things that can be produced up here. Uh, this is just um, a whole bunch of my bats, so I might go and expand this out at some point as well, um, just so that way whenever I fly up here, I can just go through, take all of them, and then um, that kind of gives me a little bit of combat to fight with as well. But I think we could very easily. Um, double or triple the size of this because we could probably use enough to um, fill out our uh, fleet as well. Um, 
this was my initial power grid. Um, so this produces a significant portion of our power. Um, it's basically just a, a bunch of station cores. And I know I could probably optimize this a little bit better. Um, I just kind of like the look of the, the grid setup here. We tested out a few different things. And I think if we kind of um, alternated where they would be at, this would be almost all filled out. But I kind of enjoy the aesthetics of the, um, the grid because it's the power grid. Yay. But, um, so yeah, this was the initial part on that. And then the northern part was initially built just to produce a lot of extra ore. So basically, if I need to come up here and get a bunch of ore, um, there are just a ton of stockpile of, uh, in these storages so that I can come up here and pretty much grab whatever I need to without messing with everything in the, the south side of it. And it looks like this one is just producing more minor bots, which um, we do have quite a few of those in different areas. So this basically was supposed to be just one big self-sufficient self um, area that just simply does mining. Uh, that said, I usually don't come all the way up here too often nowadays. Uh, but earlier on, um, I used to have to pull quite a bit if I needed to build any kind of larger projects. Uh, this is basically my ice creation slash um, uh, greenhouses. So helps me on that side of it. And of course, more research. And uh, one thing to mention too, uh, is this, uh, this is a heavily modified version of it. So there are some things that on the base setup of um, the game itself, you probably wouldn't be able to build it quite exactly the same because uh, it is using a stability mod. And then um, it's also using a mod for making uh, these asteroids have a lot more ore on it. Um, so that said, I can, Generally, mine these for a whole lot longer than, um, because I'm pretty sure the these northern asteroids would have run out by now since um, we have been burning through quite a bit on it. And then we have another small ice making factory here, because uh, this basically helps us produce all the uh, the dice and bots down here as well. Well, yeah, that is currently, yeah, as I said, I think it's somewhere in the ballpark of about 30 hours, 31 hours maybe. Um, and as you can see, it's just fleets and fleets of ships pretty much flying everywhere. Um, And the sheer number of like Dyson bots that just current, constantly fly to the different Dyson spheres. Because like I got said, it is certainly mass producing quite a bit of it right now. But I think for the most part, it's been pretty much consistently maxed out. So every one of these have three out, uh, 320 out of 320. And that's basically what I've been doing is trying to make sure that we can keep those max uh, max out as well. And as mentioned, we have a pretty big buffer here. So like, um, if for something, you know, for some reason my uh, building over there started messing up, um, I should have enough to basically supply every one of these Dyson spheres for a bit, um, even without. Yeah. That's currently the the build right now, um, and as I mentioned, I think the next few things in my project will be Dyson Sphering this one, and then we also have this star down here. Um, let's head down here real quick. 
I did clear quite a bit of enemies, but I still have to clear out around this one, I guess. So, for example, um, this will probably be my next Dyson Sphere, because this is going to next on my list. And then there's this one here that um, will have to be sphered as well, which is the Neutron Star. Then hopefully with that, we'll be sitting at five. And I'll just kind of take up this area. Um, I did kind of float around down here. I was not able to find any more stars. Um, I might be able to check on this section here. And I did look quite a bit over this way as well. So it might take a little bit of time just to kind of poke around and see if I can find more. And then I basically have to build out stuff to make it all the way out there as well. Um, well, otherwise, it's just kind of a short video. Just kind of detailing uh, where I'm at with the build so far. And uh, just been gradually chipping away at uh, making it larger as we go. And then... So yeah, thank you for watching another game. You all have a wonderful day.